name is Sharda. Welcome to the Fashion District, where everything is all about the do's and don'ts of what to wear and how to wear it. We're talking casual clothing and how to put that best foot forward every day, starting with some of your favorite celebrities. We all know that they have access to the best designers out there, so it only makes sense that they'll look absolutely amazing all of the time, right? Well, we compiled an expert group of fashion insiders, and they just might beg to differ. I like the pants because I have kind of like them, and I like the tank top. Yeah. But I don't think I like them together. I think it's it's not quite right for me. It's not terrible, but it's not my favorite look. I think she looks cute. It was a diesel event. Eh, she looks like she fits in. She always looks good on the red carpet. Yeah. Everything she wears, and even here when she's going super super casual. And a kind of like motorcycle sort of version oh, of a jacket, she, and great skinny jeans. She's got the Louboutins there, you know, bringing a little red carpet glamour. Yeah. But you know, she looks she great. She reminds me of the pink ladies from Greece. <laughs> Uh, who wore it best? We don't like the dress. Neither of them, really. <laughs> well, Chris will never be pregnant, and I have never been pregnant. <laughs> I think when has Heidi never been pregnant? Like, yeah. She's always pregnant. I know, but from a style perspective, I like that people show their figure when they're pregnant. It's not a shame. You shouldn't be ashamed of it. Show it off. And I think Angelina and Heidi both do a fabulous job of looking chic, like Angelina always, ch always chooses blacks yeah. or goddess gowns, like kind of more typical. Um, maternity wear, but still looks really chic. And Heidi looks awesome. One thing that Heidi and Angelina both do is they both prove that you can still be stylish when you're wearing maternity clothes. I think, I think it's important because you want to look good all the time and you don't want to look frumpy just because you're having a baby. You should be excited about exactly. that. Exactly. We got a little bit of the 70s going on here. Mm -hmm. And the one piece kind of jumpsuit. You know, it did make a, a comeback this year. In a huge way. Yeah. It did. We saw it a lot. It's With a the... hard look to pull off, though. It I is. can wear it. Yeah. You know, I do dig this look, but there's so few people who can actually pull it off with success. And it's not practical when you have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> exactly. It's not. I'm not digging this at all. And this is one trend that I kind of wish never really came back. Yeah, it's hard even to judge an era with this one. I think, like, the crop shirt is a little bit 80s. The skirt is, I don't know. This screams 80s to yeah, me. Yeah, it's very 80s. And the bag, it, all together, it's pretty 80s. But it's kind of frumpy 80s. It's not even good 80s. Yeah, some things in the 80s should just stay in the 80s. I think a lot of things in the 80s should just stay in the 80s. <laughs> exactly. I think there can be too much of a good thing. There can be. You know, he somehow makes it work, because we kind of expect that from him when we see him on the red carpet, or even when we see him just running around on the street. But I, I, I think he's attractive. I would look twice. I really like a gray jean on a guy. Yeah. I think it's it's just a little bit interesting, and it looks great with, like, a white T-shirt. Definitely. They've all got a classic, you know, just casual look going on. Well, David Beckham can do no wrong, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I think I think he always has it the right length, which is not so big that you look like a lumberjack and not so little that you look like a little boy. Exactly. You want to have a couple days growth. You don't want to let it go too far. You got to, there's some maintenance but, involved but, in this. Right, but if yeah. you're a guy who had grows a patchy stubble, just shave. Yeah, clean shaven. <laughs> yeah, if you can't grow, don't try. Don't.